I'm going to see if I can fix this uh, lightning cable. It's intermittently working and I believe it's got a problem up here. So we'll see if we can get this plug apart and fix it. Right, the hardest thing with these is actually getting them apart because they're usually moulded together and um, unless you actually know how they made it in particular you can have trouble figuring out how to get it apart again. So it's got this aluminium sleeve in this particular case, aluminium sleeve here, which might just be pushed over. So I'm going to try and see if I can slide that off this way. That's my first instinct. You have this moulded PC, you can actually see a little dimple just there if I get a close up. So you can just see maybe there's this little dimple just there on the side. That's the injection mould gate. That's where it's injection moulded and that's the gate which goes into it. So this is moulded in place around the cable. Right, there's two there so it might actually go there might be like a chain of them and do a bunch of them at once. Try and slide the sleeve off first and we'll see if we can get anywhere from that but I think it's probably got a break in the cable just here. Um, it does feel a bit weak at that point so my suspicions are that's what's wrong. I might just be able to take all this apart cut the cable back and, and reattach it onto the connector and maybe have it work. But right now it works some of the time not all of it so yeah and the colour is because it's my wife's one. She likes purple. Yeah. Okay so I just got in here with some cutters and just down the side of that and just sort of wiggle it around and that sleeve has started moving. Alright so let's just see what we get. Let's try and get this off. Come on keep moving. get on there with something else. It's still moving. Okay, there's a the sleeve off. So that's the first part. Now this is indeed moulded over in place. And it's also quite a rigid plastic so we're going to have to chis chip away at this. So as far as getting this back together again in the future, um, it's not going to be the same. So what I could either try and cut it away in pieces with this or I can try and slice it with a knife and see if I can peel it back. So I'm going to try that approach first. Um, the tricky thing is you get very easily damage the wires inside and rip them off the plug. And that's the concern. I mean, do I worry about trying to keep this intact so I can reassemble it, or do I worry about not ripping the wires off and then not knowing where they go? It's a bit of a trade off. So I'm going to try slicing. I'm going to slice them down here first and bring it up towards the connector because it's just purely because it's easier that way. And yes, I'm cutting towards my thumb, but that's fine. If I slip, I'm only going to hurt myself. Okay, now I'll do another slice. Just keep doing that until it feels like it might peel off. Okay, I'm through there. That's through. Right, let's see if I can open this up and peel it off. We might get lucky. You see it's starting to open up here. All right. There's the inside. All right, now I'm going to slice into here with these just to open it up. But it's moulded around that part as well, which doesn't help. It's a little bit unlucky there with that part. Now, can I peel this off? It's not looking great, I have to say. It's very well attached. doesn't want to peel off. Let's hope it peel off a bit easier than this. That's the thing with over moulding, that's why they do it because it's quite strong. It kind of wants to go but it's moulded over everything. That's not 
looking good. Just lifting that part up as well. I think this may be a no-go. Anyway, this might be a what's inside a lighting connector. The part's lifted straight off the board. So that's that side. And there's that chip which I've dislodged, which I can I can't be attached not to worry about it. Sort of thing I can fix myself. But um well, the wires on the other side now because it's over moulded it's gonna be a problem I think. Get this chip out of the way before I lose it. That is still fixable. Now Okay, starting to separate the connector now. Try and get the cable out. Because it's got the mesh, it's grabbing really well. What I don't want to do is rip the wires off, but that's probably what's going to happen. Right. Yeah, it's moulded it over the wires, so going around them. So this could be a little bit tricky getting this off. I think I'm going to say, no, I'm not going to have the housing. So let's cut this off. Get that out of the way. I was going to try and salvage it, but I think that's not really practical after all. Yeah. So what I'm focusing on, because I'm zoomed in quite a lot, it's a bit hard to get the focus right. If you look inside here, you can see there's the wires, there's red and left, green there, this other one's come off completely, yeah, because it's over moulded it's a bit of a pain, um, whatever that is, can't see in black on the right, so red, so we've got red, something which is stripping off, green and black on the right. Okay, so we'll try and get this out. Now we know what the wires are. Let's just rip that off. Now, let's strip this back and have a better look at it. It's white wire. Okay, so this is. It's shielded as well, yep. Shielded cable. Right, and there's the white wire there, which has come off completely, has ripped the pad off the ball as well. So that's a bit of a pain. May still be able to fix it if I can trace where that pad goes to. This one goes to a via which goes through the ball to the other side. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a pain, alright. But yeah, the pad's ripped off when I was trying to get that sheathing off. And I can see not much at all actually. There might be a trace going up there. If I can see it, I might be able to get a wire onto it. Okay, it's as close as I can get to it with this uh, lens thing on here. So I don't even see it, but there's the pad and there's a little wire trace. The trace is actually lift off the board. Just see it on top of my fingernail there, hanging off. So the trace which goes up to the connector is lifted off as well, along with the pad. So, Fixable, yeah, if I really want to put the time into it, that's doable. And if I flip it over, you can see this side here where that chip was. Now, I'm actually suspicious that that chip may be um, part of the problem anyway. Because it did seem to be off that board awfully easily. So I'm wondering if maybe the um, the soldering on those pads where that chip was, just here, those six pads, um, was a problem anyway. So... Unfortunately, this looks like it's not going to be fixable in this case. Sorry to disappoint you, but um, 
usually it'd just be like a broken wire inside here and if you can get this off without damaging the, the wires and stuff unlike this case then you can probably just cut it off and reattach the wires if you're good enough at soldering this is pretty small stuff right you know give you an idea you know scale here is my soldering iron tip this is quite a small one all right so i can actually get in there with it and do it all right so it's fixable if, if you're good at soldering you can do it but you can see the actual manufacturing quality of this as well is a bit yeah <laughs> you know but it's okay i suppose it's certainly seen worse but that should be attached to that like that and then that, that little trace there which is lifted off should go down to that pad but uh, anyway that's what's inside one unfortunately i couldn't fix this one looks of it just too far gone sometimes you can't do enough and it's just what it is you know so thanks for watching hope you found it interesting anyway and maybe next time i do one of these i will actually be able to fix it yeah i'll fix the other ones just haven't recorded them <laughs>